Hello everyone, welcome to Virtual World. My name is Vishal Bajpayee. In this video, we are going to see how can we expose any component from the remote app and consume it inside the host app or the shell app. So this is the continuation video on creating micro front-end application using Native Federation for which I have already created two videos. This is the first video which uh, was about what is Native Federation and what are micro front-ends, a basic explanation. And then I have created the part one hands-on video in which we have done a basic setup of native federation inside the host application and the micro frontend or the remote application. I'll suggest you to watch both of these videos before continuing on the current video if you haven't watched them already. Now let's start the video. So I'm using visual code ID for this and I have created two applications inside a workspace or inside a folder that is the host application and the micro frontend and we have done the native federation setup and due to which we have we have generated few of the files like federation.config.js which we have already discussed in the previous video my one terminal is running micro frontend or the remote application and the other terminal is running the host app and both are running on the servers fold 200 and fold 201 so this is the host application and this is the micro frontend application in the host application i'll just uh, make some changes i will remove all this default configuration and i'll add one h1 tag and i'll say this is a host application and similarly inside micro frontend one i will say this is the remote app and i'll also save this now if you go back to the browser you can see on localhost 4200 you are getting this is the host application and on 4201 we are getting this is the remote application if you can see in my micro frontend one or this mfe one folder this is the component or the app component which is currently getting rendered on the browser so this is the default component app.component.ts and currently we only have one component here and if you go to the federation.config.js file we are exposing app.component.ts and we are using this slash component this is used as an alias so this is the component which will be consuming in host application also i have currently written this is remote application i just want to make it a little better on the ui so that we can see it properly when we consume it in the host application so i'll quickly pass the prompt in the chat gpt and i will generate a basic design for a div and style it using the css so that we can see it on the web page now what i have done i have just added a small div with a paragraph and I've added a basic CSS here and it looks something like this. Now we want to consume the same component into the host application. We'll go to the host app and we want to consume it and we want to display it on the main page. On this page only we want to display it below this heading. This is host application. This is our task. So what I'll do, I will go to app.routes. Attention on this part because this is the very important part of the entire video. And this is also one of the way how are we consuming any micro frontend into the shell app we are basically going to load that component expose component using lazy, lazy loading technique but we are also going to use one function that is provided from uh, the native federation so i'll add one i'll create one object i will say when the path is empty okay to display it on the home page or the on, on the empty path we'll say you have to load component you can use arrow function and we'll say load remote module so this is the function that is provided from angular architects slash native federation and this is the function which is responsible for loading or consuming the exposed micro frontend and this accepts two parameters first one here we have to pass the name of the micro frontend from which we are consuming the component or any module so we'll go to the federation.config file of micro frontend and see this is the name so we'll copy this this is the name of micro frontend we'll paste it here okay and then we'll have to pass the second parameter alias or the name by which this component has been exposed go to app.route.ts of host paste it here dot then once this module is loaded dot then and this is the name of the component we will save it now let's go back to the browser and see if you are getting it okay we are not getting it right now so i have done this intentionally i have made one mistake okay so if you will open your console you will see some error like this that error loading remote entry for mfe1 from file and we have given this uh, remote entry path so it is saying that it is trying to load this micro frontend one from localhost 3000 but 
our micro front end one is running on 4201 this port and that's why we are getting this error and this is not this component is not loading on the host applications main page or default route so how can we fix this and how can we figure out what is the what is wrong here go to your application and you need to open one file that is inside the assets that is federation.manifest.json so this is the file which is used as an import map we have already discussed import map in video 1 you can watch it out so here the default path for this micro front end one is set up as localhost 3000 so we need to update this file here and our micro front end one is running on port number 4201 so we'll just replace this port as 4201 and we need to copy this same mfe1 and we need to replace it with this mfe1 here and we need to make the same change in this file also so if we'll just remove it and i score and we'll save this file after doing these changes we also need to add router outlet here to see the loaded route now we'll save this we'll go back to our browser and you can see that micro front end one has been loaded into our host application which is running on localhost 4200 so this is the one way consuming the exposed micro front end into the host application now what we'll do we'll just try to make the ui better for the host application so that our application looks good so i'll quickly with the help of chat gpt will try to improve the ui of the application the css for the host application so if you will see this is now looking more better this is our micro front end one which is coming from localhost 4201 and this is localhost 4201 and if you will what will happen if we stop this micro front end one server so if i'll kill this server and go back to 4200 and refresh it you can see the host application is no longer displaying the micro front end one because the server is not running so if you want to see your micro front ends in your host application you need to make sure that your servers or the applications which are responsible for exposing the remote apps are up and running if i will run this application mfe1 now if you will go back to the browser and you will refresh it you can see that the micro front end is up and displaying so this was all about the video in next video we will see that on click of this load mfe2 button a new micro front end will be loaded inside this div and on click of that micro front end we will try to change the color of the base application or the host application so this entire body color will try to change it on click of that micro front end so these are two of the important points that we going to see in the upcoming video subscribe my channel if you have not yet if you want to connect with me one on one you can connect to me via topmate the link is in the description if you have any other doubts regarding this video you can ask me on top mate or you can comment your doubts in the comment section thank you for watching the video